Hello friends, it's time for another unboxing here on the Solo Promoter YouTube channel. Uh, this is, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the um, Promoter Prime 2022 Quarter 4 Legends cards, uh, which I'm very excited to take a look at. Uh, but before we open this, I actually got something in the mail. I got this Amazon package. I didn't know who or what it was. I opened it. And uh, there was a little letter inside that said, Hey Grant, as a fan of your unboxing videos, I thought you might have use for this letter opener. And this is from uh, Chris Osk of uh, 80s Mania Wrestling and, um, you know, uh, Modern Mania Wrestling and, and the, the upcoming Champions of the Galaxy uh, game. And uh, this was uh, very, very nice. When I opened this, I was like, I didn't know what this was and then i found the little note inside so a big thank you to chris and i thought uh we should open we should unbox the letter opener although how do you get it open um if you don't have a letter opener but let's see we'll get this open this is the uh denix uh is the name of the company made in spain collecting history since 1967 uh it's a little rattly um but oh my god holy cow <laughs> this is awesome. This is a letter opener. Oh my gosh. And it comes with a sheath so nobody gets hurt, which is good for me. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for this. This is awesome. And uh, you are definitely going to see this. Uh, we'll have to name... We'll have to, you know, like uh, swords have names, like Excalibur and stuff. So if you have an idea for what the name of this uh, amazing letter opener should be, uh, let me know in the comments. This is this is cool. I mean, look, it's it's got a sheath and everything. But let's uh, let's put it to the test. Oh, it even makes. Let's see if you can hear that. Oh, it wasn't. I did it once. Yeah, you may not be able to hear it. It's like a little shling as it comes out. All right, here we go. Let's. Uh, Got this from uh, Phil Singer Games, so let's uh, put the letter opener to the test here and get this letter open so I don't stab myself. I'm trying to get it to come out the other end here and not ruin the cards. Oh, I may have to go a little bit at a time and then come in through this way. Never cut towards you, right? That's what you're not supposed to do is uh, cut towards you. Anyway, this is awesome. There you go. Look at look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Chris, for. Uh, you heard that, right? You heard that. Okay. Anyway, very cool. All right, here we go. Let's see the cards. All right. So we've got uh, Larry Sharp here. And his card got a little bent uh, going through the... Um, I was worried about that because this is just an envelope and they're going to get machined. So um, it's, well, there we go. That's what it is. I guess this is how we're getting the cards now. Um, so there's Larry Sharp. Uh, we've already done a video on the channel where we, we put these through their paces. Uh, so... Um, I'm not going to go in depth over them, uh, but, uh, there's Larry Sharp. Here's ravishing Rick Rude. His corner got a little dinged as well in the travels. Uh, ooh, and he got a ding down here at the bottom as well. And here is Adrian Adonis, which was the card. Looking forward to the most. He's got a little ding at the bottom too. And he's got this this weird black thing that happens to the cards. So uh, a little disappointing in the in the condition. Um, excited to get these cards. I may, I guess, have to order another set of uh, the 2022 cards and hopefully get cards that are in a little bit better condition um, than these. But uh, I am excited to have these. And I... Uh, thought that uh, I have my Legends playmat here that we could do a little, we've done a little um, live play uh, 
on the on the YouTube channel with these cards, but I thought we could do some tabletop play with these cards. Uh, get out some, well, I'm not gonna put them in sleeves yet. Uh, so we're gonna do um, Rick Rude versus Larry Sharp. Uh, put Adrian over here for a second. And um, let's see, uh, he's at a two, he's at a five. I think this is a pretty foregone conclusion. Who's going to win this? Uh, but you never know. So let's see, Larry Sharp will be red, Rick Rude will be blue, and Rick Rude's going to start things off with a face rake and hip swivel, uh, two, dazed one, uh, bear hug two, um, and it is a power move. He does have the power, so that will work. Six, hurts two, four, sleeper. Rude locks in the sleeper, only a hurts two on Larry Sharp. Uh, suplex three, two, down three. Larry Sharp is going to bail out of the ring. And um, let's see, his ring is a C, and it is a C5. Uh, so while Brawl Rose wrestler with the better ring rating, that's going to be Rick Rude. He's going to roll on level three offense. Uh, so Rude rolls a five, a pile driver. Uh, two, down three. Again, Larry Sharp going to leave the ring. C7, he's going to crawl helplessly back in. Rick Rude uh, with another pile driver. And Larry Sharp again, he's just pile driver out of the ring. Pile driver out of the ring. Uh, C4, rolls four. Larry Sharp going to roll his DQ. Smashes Rick Rude with a chair. And Larry Sharp is disqualified. So there you go. And uh, let's put Rick Rude up against uh, adorable Adrian Adonis. And uh, let's see, Adonis has a three. Uh, Rick Rude has a two. Uh, we'll swap these. I always like to swap them to like, oh, well, Rick Rude was blue last time. Uh, he should be red this time. Um, so here we go. Uh, eight. Uh, they both roll a four. And uh, Rick Rude is going to start things off. Uh, with a falling forearm, drop two. Five, Adrian Adonis reverses it with a falling elbow hammer. Three, three uh, is his pin. Uh, so let's see, uh, switch those. He's got a two. If this is snake eyes, it's all over. It is not snake eyes. It is a 10. But uh, Adonis uh, rolls a DDT, three or less. Nope, uh, safe there. Adrian Adonis, another DDT, four or less. Nope, he's able to kick out. Adonis rolls. There's Goodnight Irene plus. I swear these are not loaded dice. Uh, so six will be the target. Nine, Rick Rude able to kick out again. Adorable Adrian Adonis. Uh, not, let's see, he's got a B out of the ring or he could roll up. Oof, that's a tough one. Uh, I think he's going to throw him out of the ring. Throws Rick Rude out of the ring. He rolls an 11. Uh, this could be a count out. Six or less. And there you go. It is a count out. Adorable Adrian Adonis wins the day uh, with a count out. So no decisive victories there. Uh, but Adonis definitely uh, the power card. These cards are great. I wish, I really wish they would have arrived in better condition. Uh, I noticed while playing back here that like all this, there's something that happens, I think, I don't know. And, and the last time I, I brought up what I think might be happening, I got yelled at on the message boards that I know nothing about the post office. But I think these are machined. Uh, I think if we look at the envelope, uh, it doesn't matter. Both of these, this is a P.O. box address. Um, but these are machined. They're not hand canceled. They're machined. And um, I think the process of running through the machine and the cards rubbing together uh, creates this issue where there's, I don't even know if you can see it, but there's sort of um, like just this black kind of ghosting. Definitely on the top of Adonis's card, uh, you can kind of see how there's dark streaks there. And definitely, you know, Larry Sharp's, the corner of Larry Sharp's card uh, got dinged somehow. And the bottom of all three of them uh, down here are all dinged. So... That is that is disappointing. I wish these cards, you know, like these are definitely important characters to a lot of people. I know everyone's very excited about Rude. I was myself and others excited about Adrian Adonis. This artwork, by the way, fantastic. Uh, he killed it. The Rude artwork is is fantastic too. But um, 
Uh, I, I'm glad it's it's sort of this version of Adonis than just like a grossly overweight version. So uh, it's still very, very cool. Um, and I, I will definitely be using uh, that card. I just wish, uh, as always, that they arrived in better condition. And uh, I know there's a lot of people who go, it's not a collectible card game, but still, uh, <laughs> we should be able to get the cards in the same condition that they leave wherever they leave from, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky and I should just shut up and play the game. Um, but yeah, see, the longer I look at these, the longer I can see how there's these these black marks that come over here. So it's, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. I wish, you know what? There's, um, I have not ordered from them in a long time, but you know, Ringside Collectibles, uh, they uh, sell action figures, wrestling action figures. And I remember I ordered something from them once and I got it and the box was all mangled. And the person told me when I, when I wrote to them about it, they said, oh, you didn't request a mint box and you, or, you know, like a, a mint version of the, the figure. And stupid me, I thought, well, they should all be mint if you're ordering them. So I guess you have to specify. I wish there was an option. Maybe it's called collectors. Uh, the collectors option where you pay, I don't know, two bucks more or whatever. Um, and, you know, the cards are packed a little bit better than just in an envelope uh, like this. Like, you, you know, like this was machined. It went through it went through a machine. Um I know that much about the post office. So uh, I just wish that there was some way we could we could fix this problem because also the last group of stuff that I got, the Legends 10, it arrived in fantastic shape. So uh, it's possible. It's just not, I don't think it's possible in an envelope like this. And I understand some people don't care and that's great. You don't have to care, that's fine. Um, I do care. Uh, and I and I wish that the cards would arrive in better condition. So, um, but still, uh, that all said, three great additions. Um, definitely going to be using Rude uh, Adonis is in my um, Portland uh, Fed right now in his biker gimmick, and he's sort of um, uh, he's in his biker gimmick, and he's, he's sort of in the in the championship picture. So uh, I don't think I'll be using this card just yet, but very excited to eventually. Uh, get around to using it. Um, and there you have it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know uh, what you think uh, we should call this mighty beast that we're going to be using uh, in the future. And uh, big thanks to, to Chris Osk for sending that along. And um, thank you for watching and subscribing and checking it out. I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.